In these, we are dividing a fraction by a whole number. So we are taking one fourth and we are splitting it into two parts. So this is one. If we had fourths, now it would be split into two parts for each one for one eighth. If I had one ninth split into four parts, each of those nine parts would be split into four parts. Nine times four is 36. So there would be one 36. Complete the remaining problems for your warm up. So they were trying to split two and a half pizzas amongst three people evenly. Two times two makes four plus the one on top. This can be rewritten as five over two. Two times two plus one more makes five. And we are dividing that by three. Now we use what's called leave change, change, so we are going to leave the first fraction, we are going to change the division to a multiplication problem, and then we're going to change the second fraction or number to its reciprocal, so remember there's always an invisible one, so we're going to flip it over, so it's 1 over 3 instead of 3 over 1. 5 times 1 is 5, 2 times 3 is 6. So each person is going to get 5 sixths of a piece of pizza. In problem 1, it says Kayla fills a glass of water, or fills a glass with water. She pours the water into a pitcher that holds a fifth of a gallon. If four glasses of water fill the pitcher, what amount of water do, in gallons does Kayla's glass hold? So we're going to split a fifth of a gallon into four glasses. So again, leave, change to multiplication, and then we're going to change four into its reciprocal. We're flipping it over. One times one is one, five times four is 20. So she can fit one twentieth of a gallon in each glass. So we see here, multiplying 4 by 1 20th would give us 1 -fifth. That would make it 4 over 20, and we could reduce to 1 -fifth. Or you can think of it as dividing by 4 is the same as multiplying by which number? it would be the same as multiplying by one-fourth. So here they've taken two-fifths. You can see one, two out of five. And then we split each one into four parts. So they've split them this way into four different sections. And we have two, out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 
So 4 times what number would be 2 fifths? 4 times 2 is 8. There's an invisible 1 down here. 1 times 20 is 20, and that reduces to 2 fifths. In this one, it says Kelly uses three and a half cups of fresh basil to make four pans of lasagna. Kelly uses the same amount of basil in each pan of lasagna. What amount of basil in cups does Kelly use in each pan of lasagna? Show how you know. So we can change three and a half to, a, to an improper fraction. Three times two is six, plus the one on the top makes seven over two, and we're splitting that amongst four pans of lasagna. Again, we leave the first fraction, change the symbol, and change the second fraction. Don't forget about the invisible one underneath the whole numbers. Seven times one is seven, two times four is eight. So she uses seven eighths of a cup of basil in each pan of lasagna. Now we're going to check. Three and a half is four times what number? And we're replacing it with seven eighths to check. Seven times four is 28. There's an invisible one down there, so one times eight is eight. Eight fits into 28 three times because three times eight is 24. And then we'd need four extra 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 out of 8. 4 eighths does reduce to 1 half. So 7 eighths is the correct amount. Six friends share two thirds a pan of lasagna even equally. What fraction of the pan of lasagna does each friend get? So two-thirds is shared with six friends. Put the invisible one down there. Leave, change, change. Two times one is two. Three times six is 18. We can leave it like that, or we can reduce because two fits into two once, and two fits into 18 nine times. So each friend gets one ninth of a pan. Write a story problem that can be represented by four and a third divided by five. This could be any story. We could talk about four and a third cups of flour. is used for five batches of cookies. And we want to know how many cups of flour are used in each batch. because then we would split it amongst the five batches. You could also say four and a third pounds of sand is used to make five weights or sandbags. And then you could find out how much is in each of those weights or sandbags. Four times three is 12, plus one more makes 13. And we're splitting that up into five parts. So remember, leave, change, change. 13 times one is 13, three times five is 15. So 13 fifteenths of a cup would be used in each batch. Make sure your warm-up and your workbook are filled in and complete. 